Good morning. Welcome to the Words of Hope. This is Art Velasquez, your host. And we are about to study 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 up to 6. The Apostle Paul wrote 2 Corinthians at a vulnerable time in his life. He had learned that the church at Corinth was struggling and he sought to take action to preserve the unity of the local body of Christ. They had been struggling with divisions and quarrels and many had repented of their sinful ways and had come back into unity with one another and with false leadership. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 1 to 6 says, By the humility and gentleness of Christ, I appeal to you, I, Paul, who am timid when face to face with you, but bold towards you when away. I beg you that uh, when I come, I may not have to be as bold as I expect to be towards some people who think that we live by the standards of this world. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The, we the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the, the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. And verse 6, And we will be ready to punish every act of disobedience once your obedience is complete. We are to study about the pulling down of strongholds. Have you ever heard everything was going fine until we hit a bump in the road? Paul certainly hit plenty of bumps during his years of ministry. One of the bumps we find him dealing with in 2 Corinthians is a group of naysayers and negative critics. They were questioning Paul's ability to minister, calling him weak and ridiculing his speaking skills. Perhaps Paul's mind was filled with self-doubt when their vicious whisper first reached his ears. Did he take their criticism and retaliate with his own critical thoughts? Maybe he didn't broadcast them out, uh, but even thinking about them can cause damage. When we hit painful and unexpected bumps in life, it can be hard not to start thinking negative thoughts. Thoughts lays with doubt and tinged with discouragement. If we weren't careful, those kinds of thoughts can take us places we don't want to go. They can bring us down. Uh, they, uh, they can bring us down and keep us from living the life God wants us to live. Yes, Paul reminds us that our enemy doesn't fight the way the world does. But God has given us, uh, God has, has given us everything we need to have that victory. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God, and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Verses five, four, and verses five. In other words. What we think matters little by little. The Lord, by His Spirit, teaches us to fight for our mind. It doesn't happen overnight, but it does happen. So, if we, uh, if we are Christ, this is no passive task. This is war. We destroy lies, take captive our hateful thoughts, look forward. To a new plan and remind ourselves of who we are so here it is this is your call to fight to take action and stand up paul tell us we have to take our thoughts captive and to make them obey christ what does it mean to make our thoughts obey christ it means that if jesus wouldn't say it about us we can say it to our so, so there you have it. God bless you. This is how we pull down the strongholds of the enemy in our minds. God bless you and see you next time.